there, welcome back to my channel. One of the biggest advantage to working in Huiyao Laser Technology Luoyang Co Limited, aka Yao Laser, is you get to see our battery module pack assembly line got upgrade from one generation to next generation. So in today's episode, I'm gonna show you the latest generation of our battery module pack production line. So let's go. So over here, this will be our latest generation of the Prismatic Battery Module Pack production line. So I will give you workstation per workstation's introduction. We can come a little closer. Those will be our first workstation is battery seal automatic loading. So this robot arm, we usually use Kuka or ABB or Fanuc. So this robot arm will grab four battery seal at the same time and then place them on a double speed chain. And also we have the secure code scanner will scan the battery cell's QR code between terminal pole and then those two terminal poles and then transfer this information to the MES system. So regarding to the MES system, those monitors on the top, that will be the MES system, will help the operation team to monitor how much module they work on and how much module they still left. Okay, so when the battery cell uh, will be loading onto this double speed chain, the first workstation that will be the OCV testing. So on um, this workstation, we have like um, mechanism or testing for the battery cells, voltage and inner resistance. We can open this, give you a closer look. For, uh, for after OCV testing, if the battery seal is not meet for the requirements of the mechanism, this will be the NG buffering. Remember that I said this is the latest generation? Um, in the last generation, we have the OCV uh, testing NG buffering area that will be like outside of this workstation. But this will kind of like waste for the space. So for the latest generation, we have this uh, space NG buffering inside of this workstation so they will you can use of this space so in here that will be the ng buffering of the battery cell okay and then let's move to the next workstation that will be the polarity detection so those this workstation is called polarity detection you can come a little closer so uh, we have like detection pin to test the polarity of the battery cell. And then if the battery cell is not meet for the requirement polarity, we have like grip to flip the battery cell and make sure the formula of the module is correct. Okay, moving forward. For the next one over here, this will be two or one or two manually operation workstation where the operator will apply the strip glue on the top of the battery cell. Because right now this line's status is not under production, so that's why I will add the production footage in the second version of this video. So um, yeah, so this will be the um, strip glue cell applying area. And also, um, remember I mentioned that uh, Huiyao Laser is actually Turkey solution for the battery module pack production line. Um, one part of the reason we're providing all the equipment and also we're providing this kind of little cart. You can actually have all the material and then have all the like, um, computer and any other material to storage on the top of this little cart. And then, okay, back to the workstation. That will be the strip glue applying. And then when the operators apply the battery cell, uh, apply the strip glue on the battery cell, we will enter to the stacking and the pressing workstation this way. I think here will give you a better angle. So this robot arm will grab the four battery cell and then to leave on this flat uh, stacking table. So um, this one, this is kind of like our latest generation of the stacking. Previously uh, generation, we have this uh, stacking that will be like, looks like a pyramid. But um, I think this kind of design will allow us to have more battery cell and more, more like battery module at the same time. So this will be the stacking table over here. 
we have like we can have like uh, four battery modules at the same time to be stacking, and then uh, those robot arm grab the battery seal and then place them onto the stacking table, and then this second robot arm will grab the battery module stacked, finish stacked, and then place them into this one, two, and then two more in the back. That will be the pressing table. So uh, for the pressing table, what is the meaning for the battery seal pressing? We have the, each battery seal to be placing in here, and then uh, we will pre-install one steel belt on the bottom of it. You can get closer to um, here. So operators will have like one steel belt on the bottom of it before the battery module enter to this organism uh, mechanism. And then um, we'll have like operators to install another steel belt on the top of the battery module. And then when this uh, operator finished, it will press the button over here. And then uh, for it, we will have change to all of the sign can be into uh, different languages. So you don't have to worry. Pressing the button and then this mechanism will automatically to pressing the battery into one battery module. And then when battery module is being pressing, this number two robot arm will grab this module and directly place them into kind of like the second big part of the module line over here. So this part, this workstation that will be how you bind the battery seal into battery module. So we have like operators to have a, a scan QR code scanning gun and then scan the QR code of each battery seal and then binding them into one battery module. And when you have this battery module QR code, you will just stick them at the end plate of the module. Okay, so when this is being finished, so this module will directly enter to this I think this is terminal pole photography. So this workstation is then designing for the camera will track each battery pole's terminal uh, and generate one coordinate and share with the rest of the workstation. So this is kind of like a data fading to the rest of the workstation. Okay, so after terminal pole photography, next one will be the isolation insulation detection. The reason we have insulation detection workstation is because uh, for bef uh, uh, we have to make sure all of the connection before this workstation, their connection is have like no issues. So that's why we add this insulation detection workstation in here to testing all the battery modules. So that will be this workstation's function. Okay, moving forward. For the next one, this will be the laser terminal pole laser cleaning. If you look closer, we have one laser, 200 volts laser in the corner over there. That's the corner. And then when the battery module on this tray directly transfer to this position, we have like laser to clean um, the terminal poles. Uh, we will clean the dust or to remain some electric light on top of the terminal pole. So that is what this workstation is designing for. This area is the operators to assembly the bus bar or the CCS. So this will be, we have like little cart in here and you can storage your CCS or bus bar over here. The operators will install the CCS or the bus bar on the top of the battery module. Okay, moving forward. After the CCS and the bus bar installation, this will be the laser welding workstation. So for the laser welding, we have all the laser all the way behind this line. So we'll make sure your operator is not going to get hurt. And then this, we usually have like um, 6,000 kilowatts, uh, 6 kilowatts. We usually have like 6 kilowatts laser. And the laser brand we most will use like Max, IPG, or GW. And then uh, we will have like four nozzles, or one nozzle or two nozzles to pressing and then do the laser welding of the uh, bus bar or, or the CCS. Okay, so moving forward. And then for the laser welding workstation, we have one more uh, upgrade. We have this in-time laser welding monitor software. You can actually um, detection the laser welding, the melting depths and the melting wise at the same time. So this will give you more uh, in-time feedback of the laser welding quality. So this is what is this one upgrade. 
And after this awarding, the next workstation that will be the after sale cleaning, where the operators will stand here and use uh, tools or tunnels to um, absorb or suck all the dust on the welding point. And then moving forward, this will be the EOL testing workstation where you can have testing uh, the battery module on top of this workstation. Okay, so um, till this point, that will be the whole line, the module line introduction. And then now you may need to ask how we're gonna offloading the battery module. So uh, when the battery module reach to this workstation, the operator will directly use this crane to transfer the battery module to enter for the pack, pack lower case. So let's get into the pack line this way. Okay, so here will be the prismatic battery pack assembly line. Here will be the beginning part of it. Oh, and also if you compare the pack line and also the module line, since the module will be like just assembly one battery module, for the pack line sometimes it will require like four module to into one pack. So that's why for the pack line we're using heavy load um, like pack line. So make sure this will be strong enough for your product. And also all this fixture uh, for the pack one and the module one can be really strong compatible to your different kind of um, product. And also the turnover time will be less than three to four hours. Okay, so um, let's get back to the pack line. So the pack line first workstation that will be the pack lower case loading will have like operators uh, manually or we have like crane to automatically loading the pack lower case on this workstation. And then for the next one here, uh, we have like QR code scanning, uh, scanning gun to scan the QR code, and then we will have like operators to claim the pack lowercase. And then for the next one, and then we will have like install some of the components of the pack, uh, pack lowercase. And then here would, that would be, remember that I said when it's the um, offloading part of the module line, the operator will offloading and then transfer the battery module to in here. So here will be the workstation before module to enter pack line. This will be um, operator will uh, automatically apply the glue on the top of the pack lower case. You can get a closer look. Here is um, our machine to automatically apply the glue on the pack lower case. This will be the glue. Um, this is automatic glue applying machine. And also here is the machine over here. Okay, so after the pack lowercase is applied for the glue, battery module will directly transfer through this crane, the module lines crane by this, and then to enter the pack lowercase directly. That's why we designed the line like this. It will save like a lot of time for the operator. And then here, this workstation will be the module loading, and then we will have operator to fixing and then install the rest of the components of the pack. And then this will be insert the pack lower case, and then also we have install the uh, high voltage wire and also the low voltage wire, and then the, um, communication and also the fire detection. So those parts, that will be this workstation's designing for. And then uh, for this workstation, that will be the EOL of the battery module. So we have like EOL cabinets over here. And then this will have like this two connection wire directly connect to the battery pack and then we'll detect for the um, voltage and then disconnect or any other things. And also here we also have like different uh, kind of like testing equipment area. And then move forward. This will be the air tightness. Air, uh, this will be the air tightness testing of the whole pack. This is how we're gonna do the testing. And also here, that will be the charge and discharge testing area. We have like te um, charge and discharge testing uh, equipment cabinet over here. Um, we sometimes use like repower, and also we are using like Tagpo as well. So they are also really good um, brand for the charge and discharge. So after the battery pack is being testing for the charge and discharge, those will come to 
the last workstation that will be the pack offloading. So in pack offloading, we are using also use this crane to we have like um, kind of like a hook host to transfer the battery module uh, pack to transfer the battery pack onto this tray, and then we will have like little cart or electric cart to transfer the pack all the way to outside of this line. So we can actually look. Oh, we can actually look over here because we have some final products outside. So when the battery pack is being transferred, it will directly transfer to this section. So here that will be the area for the operator to assemble the battery pack into cabinets or container, so those are the area so to assembly the energy storage cabinets. We have like, uh, and also for this one, we, our line can be compatible with air cooling and also liquid cooling at the same time. So you can see over here, those are the air cooling and the inside of the cabinet, that will be the liquid cooling. Um, so, so I think those are will be our battery module pack production line latest upgrade. So if you're interested in our line or you want to have more questions, please feel free to send me a message. I'm listing my email address and my WhatsApp number over here. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Hi there, welcome. Hi there, welcome. Hi there, Hey there, welcome back to my channel. So, one of the big advantages that I have is